you know, off air to not want to come on air. <laughs> don't want to go on air, but and then they want to tell you their whole point. Oh, I was getting something about. Uh, just... what, what's the deal with that? That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, That's telling me about absolutely barbie. If you turn it upside down, you can see it sweating, and it... I don't know what. <laughs> She's doing Why that. would you call a phone in radio station and then want to speak off air? And I, I, I don't think that's anything to do with having knowledge of radio. That's just to do with having a brain. No, I don't know. That's just mad. Yeah, I don't want to go on. It never bothers me um, as a presenter. If somebody says, you're rubbish, I, you know, I can't stand the, the ground you walk on, I've heard you on the radio, I think you're, you're weak or uh, your opinions are stupid or you know, your, your, your mother shouldn't be alive and believe me, all these sort of things happen. Um, as a personal, as a presenter, that doesn't bother me at all. As a human being, it does a little bit, because I, I just sort of wonder yeah. what kind of human being, even in jest, would say those kind of things. You know, I've had certain, obviously, certain personal things happen in your life, and once in a while that comes out on air. Um, and when it does, you know, you, you're not expecting somebody to, to be sympathetic or to call up, and it's just part of the nature of the show that you talk about personal stuff. But what you don't expect is somebody to call in and um, exclaim how happy they are at your bad news or your sad news or something. And I find that, whatever way you dress that up, that's just weird. It has to be weird. Andy, why don't you take a razor to your own balls and stop telling me to shave mine? Right, I don't know. That's all the same. There is, uh, this this really isn't meant to be patronising. I absolutely believe, I honestly believe most people are all right. Absolutely think that most of us are sort of you know we've all got our little uh, little quirks and faults and, and whatever but I think most of us underneath it all are okay. I'm not somebody who um, has, has been a, a massive um, purveyor of all things four by four up until the fact that you remember we just had lots of emails from people when we asked about which cars we should look at asking to look at the Outlander or the Shogun, which we're also going to do as well. Uh, but with the Outlander, it just didn't fail. And believe me, I would be the first bloke. Ash came with me. We went for a spin around town. Um, enjoyed every single bit of it, Ash. Yeah, I, I loved it. I you, mean, you were absolutely fine. I felt like the Queen. <laughs> That's because he sat in the back, which was slightly annoying. Slightly annoying. Uh, good work. 08717 two double three double four. There are some people who are simply born I mean, it's a weird concept, isn't it? There's this person on the radio every night saying, you know, if you want to talk about something, call this number, which we generally mean in an entertainment capacity. Uh, but clearly somebody who's not feeling so good for whatever reason will often pick up on that. Generally, as a rule, I don't think it does, for the kind of format we are, it doesn't really do justice to whatever their problem is. So if somebody does sort of happen to get on, on air and then they, it's quite clear soon on that they want to talk about something else, I'll invariably just put them back on hold and say, you know, we'll put you back to the switchboard and then we'll sort of do whatever we can, whether it's put them in touch with the right person or... It's the best you can do, really. You know, we've always got a bank of numbers to put people in touch with if that does happen. You wouldn't be human if you didn't, you know, wonder what happened to a certain story or, or, or where the, 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 the call went to next, what, what they went on to do next or how they responded to whatever their problem was. Of course it does. And so, you know, sometimes you'll get... Somebody who'll call back and they'll say, remember me, I called you a year ago, as in a right old mess. You can't help but think, well, you know, if we don't do anything else, that, you know, we've, we've done, there's something there that's been a byproduct, inadvertently, of the kind of programme we do. Ian uh, in Hertfordshire says, I asked one of those Spaniels handlers how sensitive his dog was. He said it could smell if somebody was cooking a kipper on the moon. When I started in 1995. The idea that 13 years later, there's still only one national talk station is staggering. Talk Sport, Talk Radio is, I think, probably the only station that's really making money. It's doing well because it is so niche. Your call if you've got a point on this, 08717 double two double three double four. It's Ian Collins on The Late Show. It's Talk Sport. There is absolutely nothing else like it, which is almost the, the, the kind of, I hate the phrase, but the genius of, of its concept. And as a result, it does incredibly well financially. Uh, the recent figures have again just showed that. And in terms of listening figures, because it's such, you know, you've got such an, a niche captive audience there that it never ever goes down. It just invariably goes up. I think the last, uh, the last research we had 
on the Late Show is that it's gone up 20% in the last from where it was a year ago. And that just seems to be the co consistent case with this format, that it, it, it always so goes up and it always does they're not. They're not standing outside your front door. They're not, they're not at your house. They're not in your kid's bedroom. You know, they're, they're just in a public place. If you're driving in your car and you're just pulling up to your house because you've been out for the night and you're hearing this sort of vaguely mad-sounding presenter who's ranting and shouting, I guarantee you will not turn your radio off. Just a few moments. We're back tonight at 11, by the way, 11 after the football. But it is a special. It is a special. Don't miss it. Both side with Ian Wright and Nathan.